Hi, my name is Mike and I'm an open source evangelist in the web design industry and I give MailChimp transactional email a four out of five. We looked at a couple different options when we were looking for a hosted SMTP provider. We were using Amazon SES SMTP for quite a while, but a lot of the clients and people that I was trying to help get onboarded with it or even ourselves, it's not the most turnkey and ease of use for people that don't understand how SMTP or DNS works when Mandrel with MailChimp is takes out a lot of those challenges and barriers to get you up and running. The reason we went with Mandrel was a lot of different reasons. First of all, have experience with MailChimp, you know, their main product, and I've used that for years on a lot of different projects. I saw them at a couple conferences and learned about it, and the pricing was just very, very affordable on a per email basis, as well as good reporting and testing infrastructure. So the onboarding of Mandrel is really easy. Once you have your account and validate your email and it's connected to your MailChimp account, you can choose which domain you want to send emails through, and then you have to do some DNS verification usually with DCAM records and some other things, but it walks you through it, including some one-click configurations depending on who controls your DNS provider. After that setup was done, then you are given your SMTP credentials that you just put into whatever application that you're trying to send the email through, be it WordPress or any other um, you know, programs that give you the ability to customize your outgoing SMTP settings. The advice I would give to anyone that's looking at Mandrel or at any sort of hosted SMTP provider is first of all, look to see, do you need hosted SMTP? Do some mail tests, see if your deliverability rates are, and see if you need to get a hosted solution first and foremost. Secondly, you want to look at your volume because based on your volume, different providers might be a better deal. If you're a very low volume provider, um, Mandrel does require a MailChimp plan that's a change that they've done when they combined the products and said when Mandrel used to originally be a standalone product you could get without having the MailChimp email marketing part of it. And you wanna make sure you look at the pricing because at really high volumes, it might be better to go with maybe a different service or a different option. Or at really, really low volumes, you might not be doing enough to make the MailChimp account worth it. Now, if you're already paying for an email newsletter um, provider, or to send out your emails, um, your email newsletters, and you want to switch to MailChimp, then it might make that solution, that situation a little bit easier. If you're already a MailChimp customer and you need SMTP, um, without a doubt, it should be the first place you look just because it's one less bill and one less support team to deal with if and when you have issues, although I've never had to contact support 